Greetings, everyone. My name is Reverend Abby. Today, I'm bringing you a message on the power of the Word of God. The power of the Word of God. I'm going to verse this uh, message on the scripture Hebrews 4 and verse 12. And it reads, For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Well, children of God, this is the word of God. The verse itself is all about God. It's all about God Almighty, how his word embodies his very character. The word is living. The word is active. The word is piercing and discerning. This is why it is said to be quick and powerful and sharper. The verse also tells us, see, than any two-edged sword, the word of God, double power, brings healing and life to those who submit to the word in faith. On the other hand, it also pronounces judgment on those who disregard it. The same word which is saving to the faithful is destroying to the obedient. We find this here where the word of God is saving to the faithful in Hebrews 4 and verses 2 and where the word of God is destroying to the disobedient. You can find this in 2 Corinthians 2 verses 15 and 2 Corinthians 2 verses 16. So 2 Corinthians 2 verses 15 to 16, you find where it says the word of God is destroying to the disobedient. So what do we need to do as children of God? We have to be faithful to God because his word is saving to the faithful. The scripture again also talks about dividing asunder of soul and spirit. This just means the word of God penetrates so precisely and thoroughly to inner being to such extent that it discerns and defines the obscure. It penetrates both the material and the immaterial, thereby dividing the line between the soul and the spirit. It divides asunder even to the bone and the marrow, like a sword. It separates. It has two edges. This side is sharp. This side is sharp. Both sides, they do cut, but which side would you be on? As we mentioned earlier, it is both saving to the faithful and is destroying to the disobedient. The word of God is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. How powerful is that when we hear the word of God described this way? The power that it has, the power in the word of God. You may find yourself asking now to say, but how then do I activate the power of the word in my daily life? Well, child of God, this is what I do and this is what you should do. Make joyful confessions. And what is a joyful confession? Someone might find themselves asking. A joyful confession is declaring what God has said about you. Only what God has said. Speak only what the word of God says about you and not what the world says. Only what the word of God says about you. And what does the word of God say about you? I just picked a few verses that I just put together. What the word of God says about you. From starting from 1 Peter 2 and verse 9, it tells me to say, I am, and I'm going to personalize this and I would encourage you to do the same as well. I am a chosen generation. I am a royal priesthood. This is what the word of God says. I am peculiar. Therefore, I should show forth 
the praises of him who have called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. And who is him? This is God Almighty. And I am shining like a house on a hill. I am the salt of the earth, the light of the world. I shine the light of God everywhere that I go. I am an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be poor because greater is he that is inside of me than the one who is in the world. So I declare that victory is mine as the word of God says about me. I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear whatever may be happening in this world. Why? Because for I do not receive the spirit of bondage again unto fear, but I receive the spirit of adoption whereby I cry, Abba, Father, I have a goodly heritage. I have a goodly heritage because Christ in me is the hope of glory. And I know when I have the hope of glory inside of me, I will flourish like a palm tree. I will flourish like a palm tree. And I am stronger like a cedar of Lebanon. The word of God also tells me to say, I am the head. I am above only. Above only, I am the first. So no matter what the world may tell you, today I am taking you back to what God has said over your life. Refuse to listen to the naysayers and just open your Bible. You will find what the Bible says. When you are faced with fear, Psalm 23 tells us, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not fear. Fear nothing because God is with you. Well, child of God, use your mouth to take possession of that which is already yours in Christ Jesus. Use your mouth and use the word of God to take dominion over territories. Use your mouth to change situation in your life. Make joyful confessions. Joyful confessions can turn around things. I will leave you today with these words. It is good to make a joyful confession. It is good and awesome to make joyful confessions all the time. Thank you for watching and God bless you.